What's going on party people? It's Nubnip here today. It's time for another quick episode of Jailbreak. Today we're going to be comparing the pros and cons of the Lamborghini versus the convertible and then we're going to be doing a short race and a long race. Let's get started. Alright y'all, like I said, we're going to be comparing the two cars, but before I start, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to my username is this, his link is inside the description below. Um, we had a whole collab together, it was amazing, we compared all the cars speed wise, but my recording software failed and it did not record any of it, but thankfully his did, so go check out that video on his channel below, but after you finish my video. Alright y'all, first of all, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of the Lamborghini pros wise number one is the speed it is the fastest vehicle in the game overall over the helicopter over everything so that is huge number two is that they're easy to find there's one at the bank and one at the criminal place so that is extremely helpful if you need a quick getaway number three my personal favorite is that they're a high class meaning that barely anybody has now there is actually quite a few but there's normally like one or two people that actually own the Lamborghini on the server and so if you're rocking this beautiful ride I mean they know that you got some in-game cash going on so that that's really cool number four is that it looks stinking amazing I mean look at this thing it's fast it's loud and you can customize it just the way you want it I mean literally it looks awesome so there's the main pros of the Lamborghini now yes there's a lot more just not any I can think of off the top of my head so let's go into the con the first and most important one and this comes along with high class is that it is super expensive I mean it's a hundred thousand dollars in game cash not robux but I mean that's a lot of money that's a lot of bank robberies and honestly I was only able to get there for my amazing fans the live streams they donated me a bunch of cases thank you y'all I really appreciate it you're awesome and if you're not a fan already make sure to press subscribe press the like button and leave a comment letting me know that you're a new subscriber and I will try to heart your comment all right the second con is that there's only two seats meaning that if you have a crew of two well crew of three and more they aren't gonna all be able to fit inside the car because there's only two seats which is pretty unfortunate because normally I, have, I like to ride with a couple fans but with the Lamborghini only one lucky fan can make it in <laughs> but yeah it would be nice if like there's a back seat but I guess I'm just sticking with the true Lamborghini because regular Lamborghinis don't have a back seat number three is unlike the convertible passengers cannot shoot out of the side passenger seat meaning if you're driving you cannot shoot out and shoot at helicopters chasing you or anything but at least it has the speed to make up for it. The fourth con is that it is low to the ground. So as you can see, when I'm driving off-road, not here mainly, but once you get to the more off-roady situations, it does get pretty hard to drive. And the last final one, did I say it was expensive? I think I already did. I mean, $100,000. That's crazy. So before we get to the convertible pros and cons, let's just go drive it around the block. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It handles amazingly. Like, it drifts awesome, but like, most of the cars in Jailbreak do. I just look at that smooth drift. All right, y'all, so now to the pros and cons of the convertible. Number one, even though it's not quite as fast as the Lamborghini, it's still a very fast vehicle, even though it's not quite as fast as the helicopter, I believe, but it's either second or third top fastest vehicle. Number two, passengers can shoot out of the side passenger seat, which is pretty cool if you're being chased by a helicopter or who knows what. Number three is that it's newer and more original than the Lamborghini, so I think so less people have the convertible right now than the Lamborghini, though that is is probably gonna change in the future because it's a little bit cheaper than the Lamborghini. Number four for the convertible is that it's cheaper than the Lamborghini, a whole 30 grand cheaper, which is basically if you have the normal double bag, that's 30 robberies cheaper or 10 robberies cheaper if you have the upgraded one, and that's a lot of time right there. Number five is that the convertible is a little bit higher off the ground than the Lamborghini, making it a little bit easier to drive off-road, and it can go a little bit better off-road than the Lamborghini, where obviously like the Lamborghini would get stuck on certain rocks and stuff. Now to the con convertible, number one is that it's a little bit harder to find, like I think the Lamborghini spawns at the bank more and I don't know if the convertible spawns at the criminal base but the convertible does spawn at the radio tower. That might be the only place to get it though I'm pretty sure it does rarely spawn at the bank. So basically it's just the Lamborghini is a little bit easier to find than the convertible itself. Con number two is that it's still super expensive, $70,000, that's like 70 bank robberies and that's a lot of time but it's still a lot easier to get to than the Lamborghini. Number two is the same thing as the Lamborghini is that there's only two seats inside the Lamborghini so all my fans right here they can't drive in with me so they're just having to follow me inside a helicopter. What's up y'all? <laughs> 
Number four is that it's not nearly as fast as the Lamborghini, which is, oh gosh, we just fell to the floor. <laughs> what just happened? Lamborghini could definitely easily outrace it in our street race. The next one is that even though it's a little bit higher off the ground than the Lamborghini, it's still pretty hard to drive off-road compared to the Charger or the Camaro, whatever you want to call it. The last con of the convertible is that it's not quite as cool as the Lamborghini, in my opinion. You might think otherwise, and that's A-OK -okay with me. But, I mean, it looks like the people are a little bit too big for the convertible compared to Lamborghini where everybody's arms and everything is nicely inside the Lamborghini. And it just looks a whole lot more sleek. But, once again, that's my opinion. Alright, y'all. So, now that we did the pros and cons, let's go ahead and race. First of all, we're going to be doing a short race. Just the convertible versus the Lamborghini. Like I said, shout out to XX Pro Gamer 22 xx I mean, this guy is awesome. It's just going to be first into the building wins. Alright, y'all ready? Ready. Oh, there's a bank robbery. Who cares? Set. And there's a person in the road. Go! And give him a second to the lag. Alright, I give him a second. Here we go. Alright, looks like Lamborghini's in the head. Not by too much farther. Oh, gosh! So let's see if this guy's ready. This is just to determine acceleration over top speed. Alright, let's be ready. Set. Go! Give him a second. And I'm going! Alright, oop, don't cut him off, that would be nice, here we go, alright, Lamborghini is ahead, and on the main road now, oh, oh yeah, Lamborghini easily beats him, even like with, um, the acceleration, the acceleration is still even faster than the convertible. Alright y'all, so now we're gonna be racing the Lamborghini versus the convertible, so yeah, here we go, so we're gonna be racing from this bridge to the prison, a long distance race, and see who gets there first. Ready, set. Go! And I'm gonna give him a second. Alright, cool. Gave him a second due to the lag. Here we go. So the race is on. Alright, I'm gonna try to stay in my lane. I don't wanna cut him off. Alright, cool. Okay, so so look so far that the Lamborghini is still beating the convertible. Oh man, I'm beating him by a long run, yo. Yo, <laughs> I am way ahead of him. This Lamborghini is so fast. Yo, there he is all the way back there. And here we are. I am the winner at the prison. Oop, and I just wrecked a multi-million dollar car. Nobody saw that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ask this guy, because he's a convertible owner. I'm gonna ask him if the convertible is worth it, or if you should just save up the extra 30 grand and buy the Lambo. Alright, because the speed is pretty average, but not that advanced. So, I'm guessing he would probably maybe buy it. I don't know. Then it's easy to get shot. You're right. It is very easy to get shot, because it's an open cockpit. That's for sure, but you can also shoot out of it. That's a pro. So he just said, Lamborghinis are cool, but they're a little bit overrated, in his opinion, which I can totally understand that. Convertible is alright too, but it lacks speed, and it's easy to get shot. Yep, that's what I said. I mean, look at this. We're just like sitting ducks right here. So he would go for Lamborghini, which I can totally understand that, but I gotta say, both cars are very cool. So whichever one you really think looks cooler is good just know that the Lamborghini is faster so the extra 30 grand is really for speed but this car I mean look I can shoot out of it which is super sweet too well yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode that's the convertible versus the Lamborghini if you liked it make sure to press like press subscribe and leave a comment also don't forget to check out my other video series like Nub the Bounty Hunter where I have to go around and capture a bunch of criminals and make a bunch of money it's a lot of fun filled with action and adventure and a lot of police chases well that's it for now y'all make sure to have a great day Hey.